Good morning, my name is Teresa Kaiser, or good afternoon, or whatever time of the day that you happen to be watching my video. I'm glad that you're here. Today we're going to talk about uh, working smarter rather than harder, okay? I'm going to start with a little story so that it can help you relate a little bit, all right? Now, I live in the state of Wisconsin, and yesterday we got pretty much, oh, I want to say almost to six inches of snow where I live, okay? Six inches, no big deal. Um, we're out there, you know, eight to ten inches still, or up to a foot of snow it doesn't matter it doesn't bother us we're used to it i've seen it clear up to my waist we're out going to the mall in it no big deal okay but you also learn when you live in a state like this to actually be a little bit smarter when you're doing this all right so being smarter meaning like yesterday okay i have a, a, a neighbor that just moved to the area here and uh i don't know if they're not used to the snow or they haven't been real friendly but um, anyway, it's snowing and snowing and snowing and it's not stopping. He's out there shoveling and shoveling and shoveling and I'm like, dude, it's not going to stop shoveling. It's not going to stop snowing until <laughs> later on. Why not just do it once? And I mean, he was out there like five, six times throughout the day. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, he must have like a back of steel. Well, for me, I just wait till it's done. You know, obviously, if I know we're not going to get a lot, it makes no sense. If it's still coming down, why are you shoving yourself to work so hard at that? All right. So now the reason I tell you that story is because I, I think it's best to relate something to a story to explain to you some things that I want to talk about today. I want to talk about your business online. Okay. If you can actually work smarter and not quite so hard is like the guy that was out there shoveling the snow. Why not? Okay. So, I have talked to people who think that they can just start a business and become rich on $25. Now, I used to think this as well, so don't, don't get ticked off when you watch this video. But think about this. Corporations and huge companies are not built on $25. They know that in order to have a successful business, you need to invest in it, okay? So... This morning I was talking to someone on the, and, and if you're the person watching this, please don't be offended because you're not the only one, all right, that this happens to. They said, well, I, I spent $25 and I got my blog and I'm all set up and I haven't made any money. And I said, what else do you have? And they said to me, they said, well, I have one other product and it's, you know, the audios every month. And um, this is a company that I'm working in. And uh, I said, oh, cool, great, okay. And then they proceeded to tell me, you know, that they, they don't have any signups. And then they proceeded to tell me that, you know, one of their children had to take on a second job. Cool, I said, hey, you know, come to think of it, you should actually, you know, talk to that person about coming into the business with you. And, uh, their reply was, well, that person's always broke. They don't ever have any money. This is why you don't have any signups, all right? And like I said, you know, some people are going to get mad seeing this. And I used to be this way. It took me a long time to realize that in order for me to work smarter, I had to invest a little money. And I didn't have it either. Because broke is a mindset. And it really, really is. Broke is is a mindset. If you walk around and say, well, so-and-so is broke, they're never going to be able to afford it, and so-and-so is never going to be able to afford it, and I'm broke, I'm never going to be able to afford it. But if you're really serious about starting a business, you will actually find a way to do that. Yes, broke is a mindset. And some people will say, oh, no. But if you really think about it, let's say, let's change this around. Let's say you wanted a new Harley motorcycle, or you had, you wanted a new car and you wanted it so bad, you would do anything for it. Maybe you sold your prized jewelry, jewelry collection or you know your, I don't know, baseball card set that was worth a, a grand or something like that, okay? Those are items and they're replaceable, okay? What if you could just part with something temporarily just so that you can have that at a later time in life. You know, items are just items. It doesn't create your lifestyle. Holding all that stuff in the closet doesn't, you know, doesn't do you any good. It's sitting there. Why not turn it into something that can benefit you? It can benefit your family. It's okay to part with things. I used to hold on to stuff a lot, okay? And it doesn't make any sense. 
one, it creates clutter in your life. And you know, two, what is it actually doing for you besides sitting on the shelf looking at you, right? Okay. So there are ways to come out of the broke mindset. Seriously, there are. And so you're not really broke. Money is only a tool. Broke is in your head. Now, anybody can come out of being broke. Yes, they can. I'm not crazy. Anybody can come out of being broke, all right? How? Well, what is it that you know? Turn that knowledge into, you know, a book, um, a video series, absolutely anything. If you have a story and you have started an online business, you already have a story. You're way ahead of someone else. Turn your knowledge into money. Why not? You have to know about something in life. I mean, you know, you were born, you went to, you know, school, I'm sure. You know, maybe you quit school. Maybe you learned some things from quitting school. Who knows? Everybody has something of value to share, period. Okay? If you walk around and you don't believe in what you do, and you only spend a small amount of money, how many, how many $25 sales would it take you, figure this out, to make $3,000? How many? Okay. Now think about if you invested a little money and you know you bought into the products, the trainings uh, in, in our company, and now instead of making all those $25 sales and work, you are really gonna have to work hard to get that. What if you invested a little money and all of a sudden it only took one sale to make that $3,000? Doesn't that make sense? It makes a whole lot more sense. Now, a lot of people are going to let fear overcome you right now. And they're, you're going to say, oh, I can't, I can't do that. Why not? That fear that's up here, get rid of it. Because it's not going to make you money. Tracy Walker was talking about this uh, the other day on one of our calls. Um, it was actually last week. So uh, we're looking at the call that was on mm, November 17th. And she really told people about it. Broke is a mindset. You know, if you think that $25 is going to get you somewhere, it's not. Now, I'm not saying to discourage yourself. Okay, so you say, well, I don't have any more money than $25 there again change your mindset. If you can't change your mindset, you are absolutely in the wrong business. Be willing to go left when everyone else is going right. It's going to be okay. So work smarter and don't work so hard. Make it easy on yourself. Maybe you have to live without your cable TV for, you know, a month or something. What is it that you are willing to live without for a small period of time? to be able to have the lifestyle in the, in the future that you want. People create businesses all the time and they know that there's going to be sacrifice. The question is, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? There's many different ways that you can get the money to you know, get the products that you need for your business, whatever it is, training. You just have to want it bad enough and see things in a different light. And if you want to get those signups and you want to get you know, start making some, some money. You're going to have to change your mind first and stop prejudging everyone. So-and-so is always broke. They're not going to be able to afford it. So-and-so is always broke. You know what? If they have a dream and they want it bad enough, they will find a way. They will find a way. So work smarter, not harder, and have an awesome day. Folks, obviously the income examples discussed in this video are extraordinary. The income claims presented are not intended to serve as a guarantee of income. Instead, they're designed to give you an idea of what's possible. Success in this business requires leadership, hard work, and dedication. Since we want to help you make an informed decision, we've gone above and beyond with our income disclosure document. If you want to see the average earnings, please visit the page at www.empowernetwork.com forward slash income.php.